who are so quick to say, oh, Ultra Instinct is dead because Goku lost, or Goku's always losing. Bro, pick a narrative, bro. Does Goku win too much to take all the shine from Vegeta? Or does Goku lose too much and he's too much of like, he's not DBZ Goku, right? Like, bro. <laughs> So, I've actually waited to actually get more context about this chapter to make a spoiler review, right? So, I'm going to make a full review when the, when the full chapter comes out because I'm trying to be a, a better YouTuber because I'm manifesting that we're going to get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm manifesting that we're going to get to um, a casual 10,000 to 1,000 views on each video. I'm manifesting that. We're doing that. But today, we're going to talk about Maga Chapter 73 of Dragon Ball Super Spoilers and... Before we get into that, I just want to talk about the Dragon Ball community yet again, right? Um, we are a very reactionary group. I want to talk about the content creators. Again, I don't got the biggest clout. Whatever, fine, whatever. But there's just so many of these niggas, bro, who make videos so quick. Again, I'm one of them, right? But I mostly do it for, like, jokes, entertainment. I think the last time I did it was the whole Sensu Bean thing, right? Where I was like, oh, my God, this is stupid. But then when the full chapter came out, I was like, okay, it's a little bit better with context. Bro, the amount of people who are so quick to say, oh, Ultra Instinct is dead because Goku lost, or Goku's always losing. Bro, pick a narrative, bro. Does Goku win too much to take all the shine from Vegeta, or does Goku lose too much and he's too much of, like, he's not DBZ Goku, right? Like, bro, there were so many narratives already pushed because of these leaks, bro. And again, I'm not gonna lie, I know these leaks are good for Dragon Ball creators as a whole, but I really wish that these leaks never came out, bro, because they always put the twist in the leak. And then when you and then when you read the full chapter, it's like it kind of loses luster because you already kind of know the twist. Like, it's kind of frustrating. I know a lot of you guys don't really, you know, notice this because you're not following these spoiler on um, Twitter accounts and everything like that. But like you just see so many like counts like Unreal Gaming. Um, I think this is like guy called like Black Scalp or something like dude just got just all these subscribers and everything, right? Which, congratulate to them, but this is the amount of, like, just quick to judge, quick to do, and, like, just no sense of, like, let's just wait for the full context, let's give it a chance. Like, again, I've had many Christmas with Torotaro, but, like, bro, just, I get it. When we get some spoilers, you gotta get your money, you gotta get your clout real quick, I get it. You know, do your thing. I think Geekdom does it pretty well because he says wait for the full context, but, like, bro, like, just all this judgment so quickly talking about this is the end of Dragon Ball. This is the end of Ultra Instinct. Like, bro, because it's just, it's just crazy to me how people jump to things, right? But again, we're going to do a full chapter uh, review when the chapter comes out. But I just want to talk about these spoilers and just kind of give a little bit more context, man. So... This chapter is overall just the continuation of the last one where you got Blue Goku versus Granola. Um, I think it's Master Blue Goku. They're fighting in the trees. Goku's trying to dodge his techniques, etc., etc. Then you have Goku using Ultra Instinct in Blue. And he's able to at least get an upper hand on Granola. He says that it's going to be really tricky to use Ultra Instinct with the Blue form. Um, he's able to at least uh, launch a point-blank Kamehameha wave. Um, Granola says, like, you know, this is not enough to beat me. Um, then pretty much Vegeta's able to figure out who Granola is, the reason why he's doing what he's doing, and Goku decides to like teleport back, fight Granola again, but using the Ultra Instinct perfected form. Uh, but Goku's trying to talk to Granola. You see, this is where the caveat comes in. Goku's trying to tell him what he just figured out because Vegeta figured out that they're being played. Um, you know, Granola's probably trying to get revenge because he's the last Cerulean left. So Goku's like, okay, cool. I'm going to go in with my full power and try to talk to him. But Granola's not trying to hear it. So Goku eventually beats him down and tries to tell him, like, hey, man, listen, we're not the enemy. Um, you know, hey, we could get, like, why won't you? Like, let's, let's train. Let's get better. And Granola's like, man, I shouldn't have used, like, half of my power or whatever. And he's hiding in his, like, in his spaceship. And then when Vegeta's trying to warn Goku, like, yo, da-da-da, Goku lets his guard down and try to hear what Vegeta's talking about. And that's when Granola uses a pinpoint attack that knocks Goku out of Ultra Instinct, then, then beats him. Okay? That's the context! <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like, bro, everyone's talking about, yo, Ultra Instinct is ruined. He's going to get a new form. Like, the fan base with this whole uh, <laughs> Goku as soon as he loses or as soon as he wins, either he... Uh, it just, bro, like, it's just the fact that if a character loses in their strongest form, apparently that form is ruined. And I'm so tired of it, bro. But before we continue to that, let's talk about my first sponsor. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Candy Sand. Um, this is my first sponsor I've ever had on the channel, mostly because I always feel like I get emails from people who are like trying to scam me, or I feel like the product doesn't really match what my channel has, which is Dragon Ball anime, power scaling, etc. But Candy Sand came to me, um, gave me a code that you guys can use um, to get certain Dragon Ball figures, keychains, and you get direct candies and treats from Japan. Overall, um, as you see, I'm opening in the box. The, um, the figures are pretty nice. Um, if you follow the community section, I'm a big Dragon Ball collector. Um, I love collecting figures, Funko Pops, um, all different types of, of products. And in all honesty, like I opened it and the little figures, they're quite nice. They're quite detailed. Um, the only issues I have sometimes is that some figures are a little bit harder to put there in their placements. Overall, man, I definitely think, you know, definitely click the link. Um, if you use my code, you get 5% off on your first purchase. Um, definitely thank you, Candy Sam, for sponsoring this video. I should be having my code and pretty much in videos moving forward. So if you want to support the channel, help me out and help out my first sponsor, click the link, man, and hopefully more sponsors to come. Thank you. Now, to get back into this, bro, so Granola is pretty much talking about how Goku, he, he, he realized with Goku's Ultra Instinct, with the, the longer he's in it, the less accurate it is, which some people have a problem with because Ultra Instinct, at least in the anime, um, at least in the manga too, it's like the more he's in it, the more accurate it becomes, right? But I think at this point, since he perfected it, at least to the extent he can, I think he's just referring to Goku's time limit because Goku said that he only could be in that form for a short while at full power. So I'm guessing that's what Granola means by that. But again, this is not the full um, Viz translated chapter pretty much. Um, but yeah, and then Vegeta steps in saying that, you know, if you're going to like try to beat Kakarot, it's my turn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, overall, I just think with context, it's not that bad, man. But the problem is, is that they keep releasing these spoilers with like the twist being like the most controversial thing. It just becomes so toxic and overall, man, just again, I get it. The drama of super manga is probably not to your best place, I guess. I don't know, but it just, it just gets so annoying how the most clouded YouTubers just be, just be, <laughs> just make things worse. High key. I'm not going to lie. But overall, I think Ultra Instinct was um, was treated with some respect. Again, it was just one of those things where, like, he let his guard down because Vegeta was trying to tell him something. And literally, Granola can be almost twice as strong as Goku. Like, Ultra Instinct is not a, a quick win button, okay? Like, he can be overwhelmed by someone who is wished to be stronger than him. But, like, you, can, you get these people like Saiyan Scholar who all they care about is, like, oh, my God, Goku's a vet losing? Like, bro... What's the point of Goku being a character if he's going to have a form that he automatically wins in, bro? Like, he's got to have a challenge. But overall, I don't mind the criticism of this. I'm just saying with context, it's not like Ultra Instinct just got one-shotted or whatever. He had, he had his guard down. Overall, he was dealing with the strongest mortal in the universe because he wished for it, guys. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Um, make sure to click the link um, and use the code in the description for the sponsorship thing, um, get 5% off on your first purchase. Gonna be trying to do more sponsors in the future. Um, if you wanna help this video out, make sure, you know, share, like, subscribe, and I'll try to get a full review out, but I'm gonna be um, on vacation pretty soon. I also gotta finish my master's homework as well, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little, little ranting there. So yeah, Sun Job, peace. Definitely love you all. Love you.